we started uh, raising some show pigs here to let my son Tucker learn how to show and uh, learn the responsibility of raising animals. And we decided to uh, take some of the pigs that, that we weren't going to use and try to help some of the other kids. And so we, we gave a couple of them away. And then that led into this whole program that we're doing now, which started in, which would be the, the fair of 2020 which we call the Super Swine Specialty Show at the Three County Fair. And so we donate the pigs, we help them along, do the best we can. Come show time, they, they all show together in one class and uh, we pick the winners and uh, it's based off of what the pig looks like. It's based off of how well they work with their pig, um, how well they've prepared with it. But then it's also got a bookkeeping aspect. The records are part of it. Um, Agriculture promotion is gonna be a new part of it that we're adding this year. So the event that we had here at the house uh, this past weekend um, was actually where we gave the pigs away. It started last year. We had uh, had seven kids that did it last year. Um, and then this year we, we put the feelers back out with the fair board and said, you know, any of the kids that, it's Jackson Cross and Woodruff County, that's our fair. And uh, anybody that wanted, had kids that wanted to do it and it ended up growing into, we had 13 kids this year. And so we almost doubled in size. Um, we had um, Woodruff County Farm Bureau sponsored the breakfast and drinks and the Woodruff County uh, Farm Bureau Women's Committee sponsored some little goodie bags. We had uh, Sharp County Miss Teen Agriculture, uh, Natalie Lester. I hope I'm getting her title right. Uh, she came out and she gave a show pig basics. We had a big breakfast. Um, they all drew numbers, whoever gets first, Pick. They get to pick the first pig, and they go. They go from there. But it's important to us to to try to help these other kids all that we can. I mean, we've been blessed with with lots of things, and we've been blessed to be able to do some some things that maybe other people can't. And I just think it's important that you know, you know, the the skills that the kids can learn from from showing livestock or, or growing anything or even sports or whatever it is, it's hard work. It's dedication, um, satisfaction of a job well done. You know, the world needs good leaders. They need people that um, will work hard. They need conflict resolution. They need all that kind of stuff. You need a lot of responsibility to keep up with your schoolwork and showing pigs. At the end of the day, you need to work with your pigs. You need to keep their feed right. You need to build them up just as you need them to. And if you don't do that, well, one thing, the pig won't turn out that good, and another thing, you're not learning that many skills. Because if you don't have it to where you can do that output, and you can get something back from it, get that self-accomplishment, that's very important. Another thing is building like a relationship with not just people, but like an animal. So like, if someone originally didn't have a pet, but now they have like a pig that they can show, they can get in there, they can brush on them, they can talk to them, they can have a friend. And it's just, it's rewarding to us to be able to, to help them out. You know, some of these kids are kids that um, would be able to show otherwise, but a lot of them are, are some that, that couldn't. And um, I was given that opportunity when I was in school, had some help, and we just try to give back and, and hopefully that you know, they gain something out of it. You know, you hear people all the time talk about what, what can be wrong with kids these days and what's going what's going wrong with the world. But, you know, I tell them, um, go talk to some stock show kids. Go talk to some of these kids that are raising animals at their house that are doing the work and you'll see what's right, um, what's right with some of the youth that's today.